What's up everybody, Tomas here and welcome in on this awesomely fantastical Monday and Marvel just made it even more fantastical when they dropped the new Wakanda Forever trailer at 9 a.m. today. I don't know what happened, usually they do that on a Tuesday morning. Today they were like, hey, let's give everybody a good week. So here it is. I really like the first trailer. Uh, super emotional in a way. Um, I think out of the like 20 times I watched it, I think I cried about 19 of them. Uh, still have it up in the air of who's actually gonna be Black Panther. Uh, from that little claws out right at the end of the last trailer, I personally think it's Shuri because her wrists are really, really small. You can see that there's a really super like slender physique in that suit, at least for my eyes. Um, so I would guess Shuri is the one. So we'll see if we get any more information on that. Hopefully we'll get more looks at Namor. Uh, he looks sick. I think I, you know, I really dig the, uh, angle that they went with it of trying not to do Atlantis again since Aquaman did that, right? Um, so doing the whole Talokan thing, um, I'm really digging the look. I think they did a fantastic job, but really, I mean, we haven't, I don't think we even heard him speak in the first trailer. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's stop wasting time. Let's go and check this out. And three, two, one, let's go. It's gonna be so beautiful, like visually. Only Yo. the most broken people. Can be great leaders. Ah, here we go, right off the bat. Namor. His people they did not call him General or King. They called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God. Killing oh, look at him flying on the feet! Risk yes. War. He's coming. Ah, undercover. World. Yo, let's go. What you whisper, they have lost the protector. Now is our time to strike. Oh, holy shit! Oh, Riri. That's right. Let's go. Show them. Who we are. Oh! Who is it? Who is it? Oh, I mean, dude. My bet's on Shuri. With that sleek of a like outfit and physique, it's gotta be Shuri. Oh, dude, the music on this is gonna be wowza. Woo! Wow! 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 That looks amazing. Super touching and visually, and the music is kicking. Oh my god, I, like the soundtrack, the mixing of these like traditional and old school and like sounds and songs mixed with like modern like beats and pace and everything. It's just like what a way to like mix those merge those two worlds together, really. And oh man, interestingly enough. Usually the second trailer kind of really gives you, while the first trailer is a tease, the second trailer gives you like the story, kind of like what is happening. Whereas this trailer, honestly, I don't know, I might be just overhyped, but I mean, yeah, we kind of get the idea that like T'Challa's gone and Namor's there and there's a conflict between, I guess, him and Wakanda. But that's really it. Like there's nothing really like character wise like any kind of explanations it's really just hitting the emotional depths with like the music and the action just kind of giving it to you like pop 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 like expect like ridiculousness like this is gonna be just off the charts i heard that it's supposed to be one of the longest movies in marvel history i think it's pushing like two hours and 40 minutes or something i my, i was like scrolling past the headline on that uh so that's great i'm glad that they're gonna really just pack it in with as much in like 
stuff as possible to really give it time to breathe instead of condensing it to like an hour 40. But anyway, let's rate it. So basically every time you ask somebody, oh, you know, what did you think of this movie, song, movie, whatever, they say, you know, oh yeah, I'd give it like a 6.5. Oh, I'd give it a seven. Oh, I'd give it a 7.5. Okay, but what does that mean? On an, like in correlation to what? Relative to what? Like what are your experiences on some kind of scale zero to 10 system that tells me that a 7.5 is what to you? So basically, I really wanted to put together like a list that breaks it down. It should kind of come off the emotional, the feeling that any kind of project kind of gives off. So basically with my own list of zero to 10 here uh, for trailer reactions, because I have a separate one for actual like movies and shows, but in terms of trailers, I got rate your hype. So I think the first trailer left me at a nine which is straight up, I mean, I'm already an MCU mega fan, so, like, take my money. I'm watching this day one, I don't care what, like, I don't care if I have to take a day off of work, I don't care what, like, I am watching this movie day one. So that's a nine. Now, while this trailer didn't exactly show much more, uh, just the way it looks, the way it's presented, the way it's mixed, the way it just is coming off with its energy, I'm at a 10 right now. My hype is over 9,000. Like, let's go. Like, I need a time machine now. We need this movie now. Oh, what is it? Uh, November 7th? 11th? Something like that. November. So we got about, what, five weeks, six weeks left. Oh, like just time. Just pass. Quickly. Let's get there. I want this movie. It's going to be an experience. I definitely say... Bring your tissues. I'm bringing a box because I think this movie is definitely going to hit deep. I think it's going to look awesome. I think the action's going to be nuts. And yeah, what more can you say? I'm going to leave the chart up. Let me know your rating in the comment down below. And make sure, put out the whole sentence so that way I know that you actually follow the chart instead of if we see comments in there and it's like 6.5. There you go. We know that that person didn't follow the chart and that it's just a irrelevant 6.5. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time for Rate It!